2.8 million people received an automatic surprise gift from the IRS direct deposited into their bank account. Not a gift, it's your money, but a surprise refund. Did you get it? Will you get it? I'll explain coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. Millions of people are still waiting on their tax refunds. How do I know this? Because I've done some videos about it. And I get comments every single day saying, still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. I filed, still waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. You told me to wait uh, three weeks. I've been waiting eight weeks, you know, like millions of people are still waiting on the refunds. And, and yet the IRS set up this system. Well, number one, talked about it last week to start paying next year's child tax credit right now. Uh, people are still waiting on the refunds. People are still waiting on the refunds and the IRS is trying to set up a system to give you next year's refund in advance. Crazy. That is crazy. But then while other people are still waiting on their refunds, they're automatically, they for 2.8 million households, they automatically sent out a refund based on the laws, a law change in the American Rescue Plan Act. So again, this just this makes me feel a little crazy because if you are still waiting on your refund, you you accidentally or whatever paid in more tax last year in 2020 than you needed to and you're just asking you submitted a form in compliance just asking the IRS can you just give me my money back and they're waiting they're waiting to give that money back to you while they're also setting up all these new programs to to it so anyway all right so what's the crux of the issue? Are you gonna get a payment? Did you get one? What's it for? I'll explain. So here it is. Is unemployment income taxable? Yes, it is. That's crazy. That's crazy. You can say, hey, I'm out of a job and, and I'm completely, completely by surprise. I need to file for unemployment and I need to file for this aid that I've been paying for and my employer's been paying for. Um, I need to file for it and can I get some money on a weekly basis? And the government says, sure. And then we're gonna send you a tax form because we want some of it back. That is crazy to me when you, when you think about it. And so no one knows this. We've been trying to talk about it. And, and you know, it, because there were a record number of people on unemployment last year in 2020, it doesn't take a genius to realize there was gonna be a record number of people with a tax surprise this year, filing their tax return saying, what? This is, wait, this is taxable? And wait, this taxable income now, man, I don't get this deduction or I don't get this credit or I don't qualify for the full stimulus. Wait, what? Oh, and I didn't withhold taxes on this. So now I've gone through the you know financial gauntlet here and I owe money on my taxes. I'm not even getting a refund. Yeah, painful. We all knew it was coming. We, we all knew it was coming and yet Congress failed to act to do something. Now, I'm not saying that they should have, but they did. They, they did act way late. March 11, they, the president signed into law, the American Rescue Plan Act had a whole bunch of stuff in it and within it, um, it said that anyone with 10,000, up to $10,200 of unemployment income can exclude it from their federal income and federal income tax, uh, as long as your income's below a certain amount, okay? And your income, your total income, it's gotta be below 150,000, 150,000, okay? If it's a dollar, my understanding, if it's a dollar over that, you gotta include all of it, okay? Or $1,000 over. So this was the big thing. When we heard about this, again, it was well after the tax filing, uh, or well after the year was over, and really close to the tax filing deadline of April 15th, the original tax filing deadline. And to me, this presents a whole bunch of planning options. Like, what could you still do to reduce your adjusted gross income if you were slightly above that 150? So, all right. So, so that, that was the new law, American Rescue Plan Act. That was, that was the provision. Um, lots of questions, though. And was this still taxable to the state? Depends on your state. California doesn't tax unemployment. Um, Indiana, Michigan, they do. That's where our offices are. Indiana took them a long time, took them weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks before they even gave an answer. And their answer was, yeah, we're still going to tax it. 
even after tax software came out and was excluding it, okay? Indiana said, we're not going to tax it. Uh, Michigan, or Indiana says, we're taxing it, okay? Michigan said, we're not going to tax it. So that's how the law works, right? That's, that's, uh, that's we, we're kind of up to speed on that. And so what's the problem? Well, the problem is this was signed into law on March 11th. The, the, as soon as it's signed into law, it doesn't automatically take effect. It took weeks for the IRS to actually update their system to allow people to file a tax return where this, where, where, you know, with this on it or with this excluded from it, right? So it took weeks for the IRS to even be able to accept returns on it. And then, and then they ended up saying, well, we're going to have to delay the tax filing deadline until you know until may 17 but then they also said well listen if you've already filed your return and you claimed this income on it then don't worry about amending your tax return trust us we'll send you your money back we'll send you a refund we'll update your return taking this 10,200 per person out if you qualify we'll give you your money back sure <laughs> sure okay and so 2.8 million households starting last week, starting, well, a week and a half ago, started getting these automatic refunds. The IRS, again, people are still waiting on their refunds, but the IRS has their system updated where they're starting to look through and say, did you report, did you claim this 10,200 of unemployment income and you shouldn't have it, it should be excluded. All right, we'll recalculate your taxes with that out and we'll send you a refund. So, is that you? Did you receive unemployment last year? Is your income below that threshold? If so, did you report it on your tax return? If you did, if you filed too early or you, or you, you know, couldn't wait once you heard the news and said, no, I need a refund, I'm going to file my return. If you've already reported this as income and you shouldn't have, you should be waiting on a, on a refund, okay? Check your bank account, see if it was already uh, automatically deposited for you. And, and so here's the thing, here's your action item. If it was automatically deposited for you, go take that information or, or, or the amount, go take it to your CFP and your CPA and say, when they recalculated my refund, did they do it correctly, okay? Because to me, there's all sorts of other if this 10,200 is not supposed to be on your tax return as income, that could influence your other deductions, other credits. Did they, did they account for all of that correctly? I trust them as far as I can throw them. So I, I would double check that, okay? That's one, if you receive the refund, I double check it. If you haven't received the refund, don't panic yet, okay? But work with your certified financial planner, your CPA to say, am I still eligible, okay? And yes, I, I am, if I am, confirm that you are. And if I am, then how much should my refund be? And then just be watching the bank account, okay? Making sure that it's accurate, making sure that you're receiving the money that you're due. My opinion is, even though the IRS says don't amend, if you're just simply because of how many people are waiting on still their just normal tax refund, if you're waiting too long to get this unemployment tax refund, I, I'd talk to your CPA about amending. You know, if, if you're still waiting a couple months from now on this, I'd consider, I'd consider working with your CPA and amending and getting this money back. So there's your action items. This is, this, I mean, I suppose it's good news that people are starting to get refunds despite me getting so fired up that so many other people are waiting and the IRS has made such a dumpster fire out of this thing. Congress has, I should say. But uh, work with your CFP on that. Make sure this is accurate. I don't trust the IRS completely that they're going to get all of this right. So work with your CFP and your CPA to make sure they've calculated this uh, correctly and so that you know whether you should be getting a payment or not. If you don't have a CFP and CPA on your team, you can contact one on my team. Find us online, corhorn.com. That's corhorn with a K. Wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there too, or send us an email, info at corhorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.